Now let's see how the firm which is operating in the monopoly achieve equilibrium under the long run. My conditions remain the same. First being MC equal to MR. I have the MR curve with me. Let me draw the MC curve. This is my MC curve. I can see that it is meeting the MR curve at the point E. So OQ becomes my equilibrium quantity. This is how much I must be producing. Now the second condition is compare costs with revenues at the point of equilibrium. I have the point of equilibrium. Now I have to compare the cost with the revenues. But comparing revenues with cost needs a cost curve. So let me draw a cost curve for you. This is my average total cost curve. But please bear in mind that this we are under the long run. So this is my long run average cost curve and this is my long run marginal cost curve. So from this point that is the point of equilibrium, I have to compare the revenues and the cost. So from the point of equilibrium, I move up and reach till the long run average total cost curve. This gives me my cost. Again from the point of equilibrium, I move up and reach the average revenue curve. This gives me my revenue. So when I compare, I see that I have a situation of profits because here revenue is greater than cost that is AQ is greater than BQ which means at the point of equilibrium AR is greater than ATC. Thus I achieve equilibrium under long run. Please note that a firm which is operating in monopoly will have profits in the long run. A firm operating under monopoly can never have losses in the long run.